I, when we talked about what she was going to go into, she wanted to go into something completely the antithesis because she wanted to prove that she wasn't a one-trick pony. Whereas a lot of people wouldn't do that. They would go into, you know, uh, let's make sure that I ensure my, uh, that my failure is not too, uh, too much. And so I'll go back to something um, that um, I, I, I feel more comfortable with. Because, you know, she's renovated and built out. And so she's got a lot of that experience on the construction and property side. But she hasn't gone that way. Uh, she wants out of it. And... Uh, and uh, 350 properties, uh, for this part of the world, there's a lot of fucking properties. There's a lot of properties, you know. But she, she said her goal was to become a millionaire. No, she meant billionaire. She was ner she's nervous. That's, she's nervous. I mean, she, uh, I, I, when I talked to her later, I bet her tongue is like cotton, you know. She has, no, no, no. She came here a multimillionaire, so I mean, uh, she'd have to lose money to be a millionaire. <laughs> She'd have to lose money, you know. And the Scots aren't in the in the in the, um, aren't likely to lose, you know, 80 percent of their net worth. Uh, no, just some parts of Dundee have three hundred properties. Properties that still be just shy of a million. Mm. That's what it was. But. Yeah, no, but I mean, she owns properties from Oban, Glasgow, to uh, Inverness. Uh, she's got properties here in Forfar. I mean, uh, and she's, it's, you know, she says, I wish I had known about the spoke or hub and spoke management before I started buying all this stuff because, I mean, she was running. And then the first thing that she could sell was the property management company, which now she's got to manage the fucking things herself. And so uh, she did it ass backwards. But anyway, she's a hardworking bitch, though. Hardworking. Hardworking. And, um,. Yeah, huh? and she has young kids, and all the things that people worry about. Uh, you know, the um, uh, she's not worried, and they thought that we're gonna. She, they bought a, a big home in Spain, and they thought they were gonna ret uh, retire a year or two ago. And the uh, and I said, she said, I wish I had known about that. That I wouldn't have wasted my time trying to retire for a year. And uh, so uh, she she's back at it. She's back at it. Okay, what's the takeaway from uh, Leanne? And they have a, she has the same last name as Sally, and we're trying to, and they're both originally from uh, her families are from Ireland, so we're trying to figure out if there's any relation there. Uh, so, um, what's the takeaway from Leanne? Finish one step fully before moving on to the next. I'm going to remind you that in your weekly report. <laughs> Believe me, I'll be reminding all of you. Um, the uh, absolutely though. But see, she heard the web calls. I wish I had started on the one step. So she says, well, I, if I don't do that, I'm an idiot. I got to stay step for step. Because she heard these people before she went out there. And, uh, the, uh, and she's, you know, went, uh, but I, I'm glad that she said uh, that she is afraid. Because she is. She's very, she, she, she doesn't like it. But she just, like she said, just fucking do it. And uh, she's doing well. I mean, uh, she had a, uh, she's going to have her lawyers and uh, accounts wrapped up this month. Uh, she should have her first, let's see, what month are we? She should have her first deal by April 1. April 1, which will mean anyway, uh, February, March. Three and a half months when she got out of the seminar, 15 December. Three and a half months, that's right at 100, 105 days. She ought to be uh, right there. And she's running another business. She's a mama. And um, all that shit. She didn't complain once about being the mama. Because I told her from before, nobody fucking give it, nobody's interested in that shit. Uh, you know? Because they're not. You know? If you don't want to be on a don't have fucking kids, keep your legs together. You know what I mean? It's pretty simple. But she didn't, so she didn't complain about that. You know, she didn't complain about that. Anything else about Leanne? She looked like she was having fun. Yeah. Yeah. And um, being under stress can be fun. It can be fun. Okay, she's a good kid. Um, now, you're going to get this. You don't need it, but we give it to you now. 
It's the 100 questions put together by one of our stars, um, kind of like Dan Loke did, except this is the 100 questions that you need to know for an acquisition. And it's, it's very uh, similar, and it's a link you get it. It's very similar to uh, the due diligence list your accountants and lawyers will have for an acquisition. And Peter is a young, smart kid. Uh, he's a CPA, CFA, uh, CFA meaning Certified Financial Analyst, um, who's been through the seminar and the hardcore. Um, and um, he put it together for your uh, benefit, not that anybody asked him to. Okay, um, the um, YouTube will see you uh, tonight. Thank you.